yesterday when the list came in total 22217 bonds were issued but the details on the website is only those of 18871 bonds in total 22217 bonds electoral bonds were issued ever since it started in 2018 but the details on the website pertains to only 18871 bonds the details pertaining to 3346 bonds is not available on the website sbi has not given so these 3346 bond the total amount pertains to rupees 2500 crores around 2500 crores so whom the modi government and the sbi is trying to shield this is the first important question and this is the biggest discrepancy which we would like to ask second as honorable congress president has said there should be an investigation investigation directly under the supreme court since supreme court has initiated this and what should be the investigation do it should link the it notices it raids ED notices that ED raids with these electoral bonds purchases because now when the names of these companies have come come out it is clear that most of these companies they were either under IT scanner they were given IT notices IT income tax departments raided on them ED raided on them and then they purchase bonds in a way they were forced to purchase bonds and give it to the BJP. this is another very important glaring discrepancy which has come out the third important thing which honorable president also has said that around 50% more than 50% of the total amount has gone to the bjp whereas the principal opposition party the congress party share is just 11% it is a difference of 39% if you look at the difference of votes between the congress and bjp in the last election it was just 17% so seven, it is more than double the vote difference between the congress and bjp that the bjp has got it share so this is something which is surprising at which clearly proves that coercion it income tax and ed was used to get more bonds for the bjp for the ruling party and that is why our demands are number one investigation into these things should be done directly under the supreme court and secondly importantly the bjp's account should be immediately frozen the supreme court itself has said that this electoral bond scheme is unconstitutional when this electoral bond scheme is unconstitutional then how should bjp the ruling party be allowed to use this money for election purposes when supreme court itself has felt itself has said that this bond scheme is unconstitutional that is why it has scrapped this electoral bond scheme then why should that money be used by the bjp for these election purposes so these accounts should be immediately frozen that is the second thing honorable congress president and the congress party is demanding 